Hey everybody, Stinger here with a special message, message, a special thank you to the best Italian wrestling podcast. That's right, the best Italian wrestling podcast called Pro Wrestling Culture. Specifically, thank you to Aldo Fiadoni. All right, Aldo, awesome job, man. I guess you and I met in New York in 2019. And there were some tears shed there. <laughs> Man, I love that. I love that. You know what? Real men can cry, bro. Let me tell you something. Man, means a lot that you watch. means a lot that uh, this podcast is happening and the, the pro wrestling culture appreciates Aldo Fiadoni. So be watching there. It's going to be showtime. And tune in to the podcast, Pro Wrestling Culture, because it's always showtime there from the Stinger. Be there or be square. Be sure to check out Aldo and may all of your stains be large ones. <laughs> <laughs> Pro wrestling culture. Yeah. It's showtime. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, in a, new, in a new episode of Pro Wrestling Culture. Here are the real messiah, Aldo Fiadone, and uh, here with me, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Rowlings. Hi, Charlie, how are you doing? Hello, I'm all good, man. What about you? Very, very good. Excited for this interview, sincerely. So, man, uh, let's talk about uh, you, your career, your beginnings in wrestling business. Tell me anything about uh, your beginnings, your start in pro wrestling. Okay, I started in 2011. Um, I started at 14 years old, so that's like super, super young. Um, I had no athletic ability. I had no luck. Um, I was a, I was an overweight kid, um, an overweight kid of a dream. And uh, I just chipped away at it for all these years. And then eventually I got okay. And then I got good. And um, then things started taking off. Um, so I'm really, really happy with where I am currently. And always looking for the uh, for the next step, though. Always looking to move forward. But uh, about uh, the next step, uh, do you have any goal in this moment uh, for this moment of your career? Um, at the moment, I just I like I'm happy smashing it on the independent scene. But if I was to get a call from, uh, say, NXT or New Japan or uh, Impact, I'd be absolutely over the moon and uh, I would snap it up in a heartbeat. So uh, many companies in this moment, in particular in the United Kingdom, are uh, uh, very... Uh, very, very, very strong, in particular after the COVID era. They reborn them, themselves uh, for progress, for Rev Pro, and uh, they did many shows uh, with uh, New Japan, uh, with other, co other major companies, and uh, in uh, the final part of August, uh, All Elite Wrestling will come in England in Wembley Stadium for All In. So uh, there is a chance for uh, uh, talents like you to shine in, uh, in, uh, in the Indies uh, and uh, in particular for uh, having uh, uh, the, the eye of, uh, or the eyes of All Elite on you, on talents like you. Yeah, at the moment, like, I'm, uh, I'm just chipping away and hopefully I will get that call. 
But um, my goal currently is to take the Wrestle Carnival Championship away from Doris. That is top of my priority list right now. Okay, okay, okay. And um, about uh, your experience until this moment, uh, what is your uh, best memories, your uh, best part for you right now? Um, best opponent. Um, be the best... Uh, the best memories of your career until this moment? Um, so my, uh, my Wrestle Carnival debut was very, very special to me. Um, it was a company that I'd watched for a very long time. And um, to step out in front of that crowd and um, to feel the energy and to be in a venue as beautiful as the HMV Empire, it was, it was truly, truly amazing. Um, another, like, it's very, very recent, but recently going to Pisa um, and going to wrestle for SIW, uh, I'll absolutely treasure that trip. Um, me and Steve Valentino, we, uh, we went, we tore it up. Um, we met some amazing people. SIW was so welcoming to me. Um, everybody there, Alex Flash, um, everybody was, uh, they, they just made it such a pleasure to be there. And uh, I really, really love Italy, and I can't wait to come back. Um, what else? So, what else have I done? That's cool. Eric, I wrestled Eric Young, um, and I'll treasure yeah. that because that match was insane. He was he was so great to work with, and um, he put me at ease right away. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things that I've done, and it's it's really difficult to pinpoint just a few. Like I've had so many fond memories of professional wrestling. I've been very, very blessed. Uh, talking about uh, the past, the last uh, three years when the COVID started. Okay. And uh, in the United Kingdom and not all in the in United Kingdom, but the rest of the Europe, uh, that was a very difficult time for professional wrestling, in particular for independent talents. So what do you think? What did you think in that moment when uh, all of this shit started? I am. Um, well, I literally I took a year off wrestling in 2019. So I just came back at the end of 2019 and I wrestled five shows and then COVID happened. And uh, I, I was devastated. Like, it was such a massive thing for the whole world and, like, the amount of losses. And it was truly terrible. But selfishly, it took wrestling away from me for a very long time. And uh, in that time where I couldn't wrestle and I couldn't really go out and do anything, I, um, I took it on myself to lose a lot more weight and to be ready for when shows came back. And then when eventually we were allowed to wrestle again, it was like, I cannot waste any time now. Like, we have been stuck in the house. Um, and it was go time from that minute on. And so, uh, after that, uh, you started again uh, with, in a new moment of professional wrestling in Europe. And the eyes of superior Italian wrestling, of Alex Flash and, and, uh, and, and, and this staff uh, are on you. Uh, so, uh, before you talk about your experience, your memories uh, about Italy in Civ, your matches, etc. But uh, uh, there is any chance to see a talent like you uh, day by day here in Italy, in particular uh, in, uh, in a product like uh, Superior Italian Wrestling, because uh, probably them uh, are uh, the best company here in Italy. Uh, for uh, his weekly show, uh, etc. I would love to be back regular. Um, at the moment, I've got so many dates in the UK that it's hard to make uh, make all the dates align. But I, w I will be in I will be in SIW as much as I physically can because I love that company with all my heart. I think they're doing some amazing things. So I would love to be on the there on the regular. It's just a matter of times and dates lining up. Um, yeah, I'm truly fortunate to have been there. It was incredible. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. I can. Okay. And my last, yes, uh, my last question, man. Uh, do you have any dream match? Uh, 
it's not important uh, the company, but do you have any dream match against any opponent right now? Uh, Eva, like I said, I've always wanted to wrestle Brian Danielson. Always. Like, everything about the way that man wrestles is incredible. Um, he hits super hard. He's super technical. He's um, He really is the dream opponent, in my opinion. Uh, I know for a fact that if I got in there with him, he would elevate me um, and he would bring the best out of me. Thank you for your time, for this conversation, and uh, thank you for showing us, uh, for showing to all of us uh, your talent uh, during your time in Italy, in particular for Civ Pro Wrestling. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for having me on, and uh, I look forward to returning to Italy soon. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much, man. Bye. Thank you. All right. Bye.